we're not communicating with so it. We're not getting data from it. Yeah. So we'll there to there. we're just going to power that off. Power, we're, so yeah, we're powering off the port. I think yeah. if it's, if and it's then close. we're still going to do the wiggle, slow out, slow out, slow out, right? On the, right. We just yeah. can't yeah. monitor it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll spit it over just a little bit. It's probably going to be this far. Yeah. Yeah. It would be cool if we can see something while we wait from a science perspective. Yeah, Roger. So about 50 meters, 170. So that seems too far, right? That's too far? Because this... Well, if you put that part over the oh. drill lettings one, it's going to Oh, we don't want to put this, here. okay. We want to put the tool basket itself here. Tool basket, right. Which I'm just guessing at the uh, the distance between there and there. Well, the RV is just mm. doing the gazintas. Um, well, it's not too far from the A-frame, so. Totally. The it's probably f uh, ten, ten, 12 meters, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, 10 meters? So. I don't remember. Uh, Dirk's making up words. <laughs> you want some pictures? Fourteen meters, one nine zero. Mm. I think it's going to be fifteen meters, one six zero, probably. One six zero. If we want to line right on that X, mm -hmm. then yeah, I think so. Because right. the 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 crane overboard's like up here, right? Okay. So it's farther. Oh, it's farther up. Out here, I'm just like. It sits right here in the corner. Right, right. No, because it's, it's going to be stretched. It's going to be stretched out, right? Yeah. What's the squishy? Oh, it's a little. Ooh. Squish, squish, squish. So. Could probably get away with just due south. Yeah, south is probably fine. About. Yeah, like double that or whatever. Was that 16? 16 meters. So call it 20. Five. Twenty-five. Because that'll put Atalanta over the landing zone, which is ten meters off of the tool basket. Right. Okay. So, so twenty-five meters south. Yeah, that's probably fine. You just want to do this now. Yep. All right. Bridge now. Hey, back row. Do you want to survey the landing zone anymore before we uh, move off south? <laughs> You're having too much fun up there. All right. Um, can we move 25 meters south, please? Thanks. No, Trevor, I, it up. I don't think we need a further Cables. survey of this. Kay. I think we're aiming for just around that train wheel. That's kind of the flattest area. Roger. What's this black flat thing here? Black. Oh, those are, I can't, oh, that, IP that looks like a foot, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Rennie. Or a really well-preserved steel plate. Roger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's this, this is... Yeah, this is... We found that, and then we're aiming for that tool bus, or for that train wheel. Okay, thanks. It was quite, like, I don't know, maybe 15 meter separation there, if not more. Because we saw it, and we were like, oh, what's that? Two four zero five. That one? That we saw? That we saw Thank you. We saw the ice machines working. Yeah. That must have been that. What? But it looked like a broad mass, ice machine. Yeah. The ice maker. In the mess. Okay. No. Big news. Oh that's big news. Yeah. Oh sorry. Trench. It must have been this. You're right, because I'm still catching up on what's big news on the ship. Ice is good. Keeps things cool. Oh, do we have off. ice? We have ice. <gasps> See? This is the reaction. There's only one thing I think when it comes reaction. to ice, and I don't have the other ingredients. Oh. Hockey stick, gear, etc. Actually, that's a good one. Yeah. That's not what I was thinking, though. But oh. sure. I just like my water, Blender? water in solid form. All right. <laughs> I like drinking you drink steam. ice? I just like my water in solid form. That's the only way you like it? Yeah. I, no, it's not the only way, but I do prefer some of it. Like, you know, half and half. I like my water in a gas form. That's why yeah. I just, just said that. Just inhale it. So you said it, but nobody heard it. So does that mean I, I did? That means you're the funny one. <laughs> 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 okay. Nice, Trevor. Steal the laugh out of that joke. <laughs> just like add that one sentence to get the laugh. Yeah, when I didn't get it the first time and Josh stole it, I had to 
do yeah, something to I don't redeem think myself. you did say it. I so, think you just said that you did. No. How funny would that be? That would be pretty good. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> Trevor, did Hello. you, um, we're, we're working our way south. Um, do you think you're going to potentially be able to reach that s smoker or nope. maybe nope. not? Too far. Too far. Yeah. But we can get as far as we can. We can look for some cool stuff along the way. We can get as far as we can. It is what it is, Josh. Can you come uh, down on Delta, please? I, I can come down on Delta as long as I can come down on the Delta. That's interesting. Why don't we just talk like that the rest of the day? If we did, then we would be. <laughs> oh, no. What is... Oh, yeah, okay. So back row status update. Okay. Ship is moving into its final spot. Okay. We'll see that move in Atlanta soon. Is this ship moving south or which direction? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So ideally, before I start doing any pulling or anything like that, which I don't think I'll be able to do much of, uh, <laughs> you might be pulling your tether. Yeah. Um, before that happens, we're just going to see where Atlanta settles out okay. and compare that to the offset from A-frame to crane and see if that's pretty close to the landing zone. If okay. it is, we'll be all set to go. All right, awesome. Try and see. Big shout out to Layla O'Hara. Hey, Layla. She's watching right now. Dave's daughter. Thanks for tuning in. Your dad is an excellent joke maker. <laughs> He's also pretty good at his job. But <laughs> I feel like that's half the job is the jokes. 72%. <laughs> and that's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but that was. <laughs> Derek, and you so are, are you. dad joke fire. I know, I gotta stop. Yeah. No. No, no you gotta ramp Just it up. No, <laughs> keep going. You wanna have that kid. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta pass the test. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's just like natural. It's like dad hormones just kicking in and just. <laughs> dad hormones? <laughs> Can't fight it. I don't, know. I don't know. Do you have a bunch it of seems. dad hormones? <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter's listening, Dave. <laughs> I know, she's, she's like, I'm banking on that. <laughs> so, Dirk, you wanted to look at this rock, right? Yeah, good photogrammetry there would be nice. Yeah. Photogrammetry of this, Th this rock. rock? Can no, you zoom in on this rock, please? Wow. Video? Dirk, I just... It's a good rock. It's got a good crack in it. Also posted on the yeah. Google uh, uh, chat. Good there, thank you. You can send us some pointers. There's a little animal. Yeah, we we we, we hope to, to make it there. Um, okay. Yeah. There's a witch. There's can a little you animal over post on the, the chat if we if it's looking good? If it's looking good. Should yeah, I go try I will, to find yeah, it well okay. zoomed in, or was it far away? Well, a good uh, answer. Was, um, oh, I think it. You, yeah, there it is. You can stay zoomed in. Keep that white thing in frame. Lobster. Oh, might be. Yeah. What is it, Megan? Uh, it might be a squat lobster. Oh. You got more zoom video? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a squat lobster. Look how cute. Look at how pale it is. Yeah, it's probably a munidopsis. Oops. Gotta love a good squall lobster. Sure do. Okay, thank you, video. <laughs> I like this amphipod swimming. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, there was an amphipod. It kind of floated away. Oh, rats. Rats. But it was, it was um, trying. It's not a rat. Wait, why were we supposed to be looking for mice? Oh, yeah, the van cat. Van cat. Hello, 
Hey. Uh, oh, hi. Wait, pass to me first. Well, oh, thank to you. Trevor. Are you passing notes now? Passing yeah. notes in class. Could you yeah. imagine? <laughs> All right. Oh, now I understand. Uh, also, a shout out to my very good friend Gabby out in New York who's watching and is clearly mad that Dave's daughter got a shout out and she didn't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right on the money. Oh, it's still going. Maybe. That'd be very confusing. <clears throat> this is not an exciting time to tune in. Oh, and then by the time they get to it, it's too late. Yeah, right. Well, it will be exciting again later. But it will now. be exciting again later. Right now, we get to look at these rocks. Looking <laughs> at rocks. But we're gonna we're well, gonna that move. Little lobster. Yeah. Yeah, we got the lobster, and we're gonna move, and we're gonna see other rocks at some point. Where's your daughter at? UK. Mm -hmm. mm. Lobster? Did you say lobster? A little squat lobster. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's just a squat lobster. I want a full lobster. <laughs> yeah. What is this, the Atlantic? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be one lobster in the entire Pacific Ocean. Someone threw one in that one time. I mean, it depends <laughs> on your definition of lobster. There's is lots of lobsters. Yeah, obviously, you're not going to have Maine lobster, but there are spiny lobsters. Not, yeah, not the real there, ones. Yeah, are they lobsters? Spiny lobsters, yeah. Yeah, they're considered not, lobsters. Not in the, not in the I think squat lobsters Pacific. are not lobsters. Squat lobsters not are here. not lobsters. Okay. No. Nope. I wonder why that is. We fly out all our lobster from... East Coast. I saw something circled. Wow. I wonder what they're talking about. Huh, I see something circled. We got a big weight stack here from Alvinius. Mm -hmm. That one's been here a while. I'd say. So when was the ONC first established? Oh, great question for the back row. Love <laughs> it. I know we've been coming here for seven years, but I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm sure they've been around much longer, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know who started that song. Now I got it stuck in my head, too. I really want to yell it into the mic, but can't. You know um, yeah. Mr. Tom Clinton Baker from Terror Remote? Yeah, I know him. Uh, we were doing a cable lay, and they were um, on the Doppler one day, kind of bored, and they it was like a, I don't know, one of those stupid long 20-hour shifts. And they called into the local Victoria radio station and asked them to dedicate that song to to him and the uh, Reese, the guy he's working with. And they did. It's incredible. Awesome. T they and they said their names were Tomcat and R Dog. <laughs> Perfect. This one goes out to Tomcat and R Dog. Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster. What are we looking at? Weights? Yeah, just wait for it. Wait for what? Just wait. Uh, Alvin. What are those weights from? A submersible.
called Alvin, which is not still in use. It is yeah. still in use? Roger. Had a refit recently. Oh, yeah? I don't know. A year or two ago? Yeah. Year, a year ago? Another 6,000 meter not rated. Still, he's not still doing that, is he? Who? Waters? Right now. He literally is. Yeah. It's underwater right now, probably. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think so. Might be off by a bit. Maybe it's August. I can't so remember. So you've mapped your landing zone. Uh, What's he doing? Over there. Oh, you see him talking to him? Fuel platform. So really, realistically, this landing zone, this meth is more here. Yeah. Yeah, here's that cluster of bead bags that is right here. Right there. But then this doesn't add up. Do, yeah, that doesn't then, make sense. So this actually goes, this is not here is basically what we're saying. This is actually over here. As what o that's the only thing, because I don't think we've crossed this cable yet. Or this cable goes like this, and then we were... This just doesn't really make sense, what yeah. we're seeing here on the map. Because um, that does look like the... Sure does. Unless we've got our north and south wrong, but I don't think that's true. A little triangular deal. But I don't also... Is it doesn't look like a two-part system. Hey, Megan. Me, Megan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. sorry. Calling from sorry. the other Megan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't calling myself. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I realized. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> um, where you have the landing zone marked on the high pack, is uh -huh. that right where, more or less, where the train wheel is? Yes. Okay, let's check it. And the cluster bead bags, that's a new mark as well from where we saw it, like, on the cable. Right. Okay. I thought that was around a seismometer. Yeah, that's what I thought, too, but... We can well, have a look. We, we're not doing there anything. Yeah. There we is a, a cluster of bead bags um, yeah, but on the cable just south of the yeah, IP that know. we saw. Let's go have a gander at that waypoint. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Check it out. Let's do stuff. How long are they from uh, deck deployment? So looks like they're doing are we, a. Are we ready to go? I think someone just needs to let them know. It looks like they might just be standing by. Oh, okay. Then I won't go look at that. Could we. Um, what's the oh, best way to check in with them? There's a cable. Okay, there's that cable. That's a red. This is this cable. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm so going to head south so as far as I can. Here. Okay. Um, we might need to step the ship south another 10 meters. Might as well. Okay. It doesn't hurt. Sure. Bridge nav. Yeah, we're like right here. Yeah. Can okay. we move so another we're 10 can meters I get a south? Atlanta heading oh, likely of, uh, come around there. to starboard yeah. to north, Thanks. please. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Oh, that means I've got a. Is that right? Yeah, I have to come to starboard as well. Dope. That'll take our turns out. That's fine. Let's probably do this now. Yeah, I just it'll take your six eight wrap out, and then because I'm eventually going to pull you. Yeah. Yeah, that's white and red, hey. Yeah. 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 So we're we're about I've right here. Got to take mine out and then yeah. as well. Uh, then, do we have another map? Okay, so what's this? <laughs> Neptune South. <laughs> that's good. I like that. You mean like a zoomed wind? Yeah. There's really nothing. Unfortunately, nothing around here. There's that rock. <laughs> You might get to There's see your bags after all. Her. Okay, so that's the IP, IP. This Would is you only call me? halfway, yeah. so we've got like another 50 meters to go. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So we really just can't stretch the cable out. That's the only problem. Okay, yeah. and then I'm gonna... I'm taking my turn out just nice and slow. I really like those crabs. They're so huge. They're, they're aliens. <laughs> they're aliens. What are they? What's their scientific name? Um, they're in the Lithodidae. Is what's their? Is are, are they a spider crab or? Yeah, they're a, a spider crab. Spider crab. Or king crab, depending on how you define it. Okay. Are those the same thing? Uh, well, some. Some of them are the same thing. King crabs are just big. Okay. But they're part of the spider crabs. <coughs> cool. I didn't know that. Or, you know. But common names are tricky like that. You know. Right. Yeah. When they're um, born, I'm going to go check crabs. on the duck. Just make sure they're... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> or 
like, is there Hello? To confirm, um, we are ready for them to put it in the water, right? Yes. I feel like we might be, yeah, right. everyone's just... We're ready here. Yeah. We're ready here, ready. yeah. I'll go we down might end up landing it a little farther south than we have laid out, but that's fine. We can deal with that later. That's okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're ready here. I'll, I'm going to stretch Atlanta out. I'll be ready, and by the time you're down at the bottom of the stairs. Gotcha. What's that? Term can. Mm hmm Point for Josh. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> that is a uh, bottom pressure recorder. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Negative points for <we're> Josh. <laughs> I still think the thing was a term can and the recorder was the. No, never mind. That That's wrong. the end of my leash. We. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Dancing. What's this connected to? Uh, parking position. <laughs> okay. Is that Whee! the answer you were looking for? Alright, so that is absolutely. That's it, that's all? The leash ender. Man, that was a leash ender. That was super aggressive. <laughs> oh, that's aggressive. When do we get to know if we don't have to wear these anymore? Soon. When's that? Should have, everybody should have been tested by now. I know. I'm waiting for word. I'm excited. They won't? Well, that's okay. I know. Thanks. Thanks for telling me, guys. Right. We need a camera on that board. Hundred percent. Text him and be like, Renny, what's the board say? Every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you're all stick lock, buddy. Yeah. I mean, like he's got X, Y, and depth, and all, and heading, and you don't. You're doing it. You're doing your job already. You're great. Uh, I'll I'll keep an eye on it once it starts coming down and see, but... Guys, I'm going to do this whole thing without copy and paste. That'll be twice in four days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to actually write it in cursive, and then I'm going to put it in the spreadsheet. Yeah. Tomorrow it'll be hieroglyphics. Chisel. <laughs> Why is the turns kinder not working? 
Yeah. 3D print it. I'm against 3D printing. It's too high tech. Hmm. Let me think about that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it in submarines. Because it just looks wrong. You can make it look pretty decent, but it just looks wrong in a good submarine. Have you ever worked with Russ Cofield? He brings his 3D printer everywhere. He's a Schmick, Schmick guy mostly. But worked, at, worked with him at Pelagic. Every, every night shift, because we, we wouldn't dive a lot on the Tully, he'd have like something new come out. But he can print off toys and stuff for kids, so. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> See what happens? It's got a mind of its own. Another shout out to my friend Gabby. Um, she didn't actually ask for a shout out or anything. <laughs> I did that by myself. She's a very nice person, so that everybody listening knows that. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so while we're doing shout outs, we have uh, someone, Willem from the Netherlands, 
who apparently wrote a whale shark shanty during a different expedition. So I never saw it, but I'm sure it was great. So right now we're waiting to see what our next steps are. We're also having something deployed off the back of the ship, right? We are, yep. yep. We've got so a lot of tools and that. bits and pieces coming down to us. What's up? Yeah. Are you thinking about who to give another shout out to? No, I'm wondering where the music's coming from. The music? What music? It's all in your head. What? Is this, a, is this a prank? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, she's got it. Are you not hearing music? No. No. It's not going out, it's for us inside. Oh. I'm not sending it, I don't know who's turned it on. Am I going crazy? <laughs> uh, they don't have to be mutually exclusive events. What is that? Oh, it is, it's there. If you see it, it it's is all there. blue on your headsets. Yeah. And you're really quiet, Pete. Wait, is that new? <coughs> the blue? Somebody has attached themselves to blue. Okay, because I was going to say, I don't remember seeing that before. How'd you get that number? Show your work. Hey Pete, are they sending stuff out right now?
Pete, we have a little bit of infinite recursion happening there. <laughs> there we go. For a comp? Oh. Yeah, Krona. That's about. I can't remember the conversion rate now. But it's expensive. And the Kais comps are expensive anyway. They're really nice, but they're. They're good. For me, you can't you can't go wrong with shilling comps. They're the ones. That's where I would go. So this being deployed to us right now is that giant toolbox. Oh, pretty much yes. It is a giant toolbox. A big toolbox. Yeah. It's called called a work basket. Oh, so it's got all basket. kinds of tools and things for opening and closing some of these systems that we have down here and God knows what else in there, a whole box of tricks.
Yeah, it's in the water now. Uh, it's kind of bobbing towards the surface. It's uh, on feed three right now. It's on starboard. Uh, yeah, sorry. The, can we get that? I guess. Is it possible to put it up, up there, Pete? Nice. Thanks, man. It's gone. <laughs> Looks like they forgot something. <laughs>
What's in that cylindrical thing they just attached to the line?
There we go. Back on. So um, Doug's going to stop the winch on 2,000 just as like a sanity check. And if, if we don't see it stop at 2,000, we give him the like, okay, you're at a 2,000 warning. And then uh, it's 25 meters from the bottom of the tool basket to the beacon, yeah. So, um, yeah, well, uh, about 2,000, let's assess where it is. Is it above a spire, blah, 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 and see what we need to do. 562, okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll do a check at 2,000 meters. I don't know. I think he's whatever he's comfortable with. I'm not sure how fast exactly his speed is. What's that? We can ask him it on the radio oh, if you're interested. Yeah, okay. What you need? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Where are we in relation to all this other stuff? Okay. Um, so, Grotto is here. The full mount cap waits. CP. Okay. And then we are MEF. KMF, RB, RBPR. Ten meters. So bead bags. JB twelve. So we were just around there. Um, ACP. Yeah, I was just trying to find some of the stuff that I already have on my map. So we are about 10 meters south of the uh, MEF SPS.
Our, t our tool basket's currently at about 1,600 meters, and we are waiting on our tool basket right now.
We are still lowering just very slowly right now. We're at about 1,800 meters and we're trying to get our tool basket to about 2,000 meters right now. Our depth is reading 1985. 
No, I'm talking to the deck. Say again. <laughs> no beans. Good morning. Good morning. Where the heck are we? All right, so. I know, that was a rhetorical question. We're. Here, you know, look at this bottom. Look at those rocks. The cables, perfect. Awesome. All right, our proposed landing site is right over here. Looks like we're settling out right about here. why our depth doesn't come into that vest. Because you're relying on a beacon and Endeavor, so. Yeah. Well, it just says zero. It doesn't even try. <coughs> What's 1% of water depth in 2,000 meters? I don't know. I failed horribly at math, but... <laughs> Megan, can you hear me? Uh, no, Nav, Megan. Yes. So, did we communicate um, with the winch to stop at 20 meters above? Or where is he lowering it to at right now? Um, he's at uh, 2,095, so uh, you want 20 meters above bottom? We want, we want, okay, so let's just... Um, okay, let's, yeah, let's, is the winch all stop right now? Uh, no. I'll stop He's on the winch. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Winch control, I'll stop. Okay, so I'll walk you through the, the heights so that we're all aware of what's going on. Roger. So the oh, hold on, did we get a confirmation the no. winch stopped? Winch, yeah. winch, control. Yeah, it looks like they're stopped. Looks like or confirmation? <laughs> well, I can only say it looks like they've stopped. Yeah, I need Beep. confirmation the winch is all stopped. I need a reply on the radio. Yeah. Winch control. Somebody needs to run down there. Are we all stopped? I'm stopped. Roger. All right, if you don't get confirmation, uh, yeah, we need to run down there or repeat. Yeah, just probe them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll walk you through the dimensions. Right now, the beacon is approximately 25 meters above the bottom of the tool basket. Plus or minus 20 meters. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, so. Well, yeah. So bas we basically, we want to um, have this thing about 5 meters to 10 meters off the bottom, then go and look at it. Roger. And we're going to drop it so before it touched this bottom. So we're going to lower it till it's not within that heave, so we, it's not slamming on the bottom, and then we're going to release it with the acoustic release. Right there. So if it's 25 meters, let's add a buffer of 10 meters, 15 meters or something. So if we can lower it down to the beacon down to 50 meters off bottom, then that should put our um, our tool baskets in between 25 and like 10 meters off bottom or something like that. Something if everyone's like happy that. with that kind of math. All right. Uh, where are you getting the beacon depth? 
Sonar 9. Okay. So, so how far are we currently off the bottom? Uh, the ROV? Yeah. Five meters. Okay. But we're away to the south, so. Yeah. Um, so far, depth. Overall depth is where's. But we'll see it first with uh, Atlanta. Okay, yeah. And I think I see it now. Actually, 20 meters away. Is that right? Yep, that should be about right. There's a pretty significant sonar target 20 meters away from Atlanta. Yep. <coughs> should be able to turn and see a big tool basket with Atlanta. <laughs> actually, you're almost looking at it there. So. As everyone, does it sound good to take the beacon on the wire down to 2100 before we approach? Is that that right now? Um, that's not the beacon, though. The beacon, stand oh, the by. beacon's... Stand by. Yeah, let's stand by. Let's map it out. Sorry. One second. Okay. Got to get the right one. Yeah, sorry, I do not trust your beacon. Mm -hmm. No offense, Megan. Mm -hmm. here. Acoustic black magic mumbo jumbo. <coughs> I think that's a tool basket. Looks like a tool basket to me. Uh, Dan, can I take a uh, control bubble cam? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a uh, access you to that can, screen. You can hit um, on your Monit right monitor, hit right monitor, and hit engineer. <coughs> um, is that a structure? That's about. That's got to be a basket, according to the heading and the nav screen, which is somewhere in the ballpark. Yeah. That is indeed that tool basket. basket. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, so. So the sonar beam on Atlanta is looking down. So the beam width is what, I don't know, Kongsberg plus minus, I don't know, 30 degrees. If you do the mass sideways like that. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're picking up the what appears to be the tool basket and the Atlanta sonar, and Atlanta is currently uh, 35, meters, 35 meters off the bottom. I would say you're in that box that you mentioned. Yeah, okay. Change, can I don't change back to the So this, this here puts us at 50 meters off bottom with the, uh, with the package. I would say you're in the uh, all I can say is you're picking it up on Atlanta. Yeah, I think from what we're looking at right now is um, from the beacon on the wire, I think we're the, the tool basket's about 50 meters off bottom. Mm, yeah, it could be, yeah. That's um, kind of what the numbers are saying. You can pull up your uh, sonar dyne on the top okay. computer up there. Wait, how, how do I change that one? Huh. 25. Monitor rate. Right. Yeah. No, that's this one. Yeah, monitor rate. Oh. Right. And then, uh, whatever, your Kongsbergy. Right, that checks out. <laughs> You're the navigator, you look at the beacon. <laughs> 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 I need a sonar over here. <coughs> Guess I don't need to look at the DP. You don't yeah, need to look at the Yeah, so DP. it's about 50 meters. Okay, so we're seeing about between the ROV, between the depth the ROV is saying it is here and what we're seeing from the beacon on the wire. The tool basket should be about 50 meters off the bottom. Yeah, and it is currently uh, dangerously close to Atalanta. What are my range rings now? I can't read that. You read that, Jake? Hmm. 20 meters away. Yeah. Yeah. So let's jive in with the nav screen. Come on, Jake, join the party. Yeah. So. Um, Sorry, now that I got all that straight in my little reptile brain. Um, you wanted to come down some more on the basket? Yeah, we want to release it about five meters off the bottom. 
You want us to look at it, though, when you do Yeah, that, right? we want to be, have, be able to look at it. So until we're kind of a comfortable depth, so we're not going to be tapping the bottom, that's where we want to release it. Okay, let's... Uh, are you... I can go get a visual on it now, or you could come down a little bit. If um, I think it would be easier if you know how high. We don't want to. We don't want to bang it on the bottom, but we want to land it relatively close to the bottom so it doesn't flip over. If you want to take the control from here on, yeah, I would. And do it the way you want to do it. The way I want to do. I want to see it. Okay. And at least two sonars. <coughs> okay, uh, Jake. Let's come up a little on Atlanta. And Damn it. We'll see if the uh, <laughs> what we're looking for there is to see if that uh, sonar signal gets stronger or weaker. Uh, okay, coming up. And meanwhile, I'll come back to your neighborhood where I can light it up as well. <coughs> what we don't want to do is lose it out of that sonar. And Jake, your your job yeah. will be to push a button. So <laughs> when it stands there, push that button. Okay. Keep her lit up there. So it appears as you're coming up, Danny, that that target yeah. is getting. I thought it was. I was going to say it was getting stronger. Exactly. Like it's getting weaker. Be getting weaker. So that would indicate to me that it's below Atlanta at the moment. Okay, coming back down. I'm gonna come down this a little bit. <coughs> the basket may be lower than you think. <laughs> if you want, I can straighten out my camera and look uh, around. Yeah, you can hold her there. You should be able to see it 20 meters away. <coughs> I know. I'm looking straight down now. You're looking straight at it. Look up. It should have reflective tape on it as well. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Aha. Well, that's all great, except for it's the wrong camera. <laughs> <coughs> well, I can see hook on the bottom, I think. No, no that's, a, the, uh, that's uh, the light. light from the Don't look at the light. <laughs> that's on the grotto camera, is what yeah. you're seeing there. Gotcha. So, are you looking... Uh, you're looking down. Look at your camera. I'm it's looking 45. down at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, 30 degree angle. Okay, stand by. I will come and... Um, I'm going to come get a visual on it. Let's work. I understand, yeah. I only have one light bank on. Should I turn on some more? Yeah, I'll blast it. Light's coming on. See, yeah. which way do I need to turn? I can turn any old way I want. Oh, look how pretty she is. It's a beautiful thing. I come up a lot more and uh, get it in view. Um, we are going to do exactly that because I'm coming underneath you. Yep, I'm coming up a little bit. Come up. I'm come up five meters. All right. Dan, um, just an update. If uh, the the guys on the deck are not the transducers not in the water so when we are just it's going to take them some time to get it in the water once we request to be released so just bear that in mind yeah right we have to lower it down to about 100 meters down to get away from the ship noise so or 70 meters or something right, I'll stop 2145 keep coming up Danny. I'm gonna try and come up with you here but I appear to be neutrally buoyant Delta is 43 meters. Yeah, so my biggest worry is uh, the hurt tether entanglement. The rest, you know, we can mm -hmm. deal with. So what we're doing now is we're managing the hurt tether with our delta. So extreme delta tether management. Yep. <coughs> and I'm loath to uh, lose it here, but we should pick it up in hurt so you can start scanning hurt back and forth if you want. Mm -hmm. Uh, look straight down with your camera now. Keep an eyeball on Herc. Uh, 
How do I select the other somewhere? Just click on it. Oh. Use this little. Oh. <laughs> right. I do not see anything. Uh, probably to the south of here somewhere. I see a little hint of it there, so I'm going to come up. I think that's it right there. Yeah, I saw a little whisper there. I can let it scan, Jenkins. But can't scan backwards. My OCD will not allow counterclockwise so I have a <laughs> You're the one that told me to do it. <laughs> Bear with us, we're also going to be painfully slow up here. <coughs> Take your time. I should be able to uh, see it with yeah, the... I, I was like... What lights do I have on? Hotel. Lights. Keep coming up, Danny. If you please. Wire you're picking up there now. You want to slow the scan rate down? Nah, good enough. That's fine. I got it. <coughs> yeah, well, I should pick it up here soon. He's got a whisper of it there now. I can see myself right below Atalanta, so we're all we're all happy. We're just slowly coming up until I get it lighted up here in the center. Ah, there you are. Nah, just a whisper. You want to keep coming up, Danny? We want to manage yep. our delta here. Was uh, Atalanta's altitude when we started this whole mess? 35 meters. Good thing we have a navigator. So, Herc at 35 meter altitude should uh, run into the thing. <coughs> Thank okay, you. 40 meter delta. And we have visual. So we'll keep coming up. I want to be above it and have it clearly lit up. So we have this uh, thing while we're doing two-layer ops called uh, happy heading. And my happy heading at the moment is north. Um, Semi-happy heading would be plus or minus 45. Plus or minus 90 would be uh, coming around. So. Anything more than that would be a very unhappy heading. I would be wrapped around the wire. So uh, both Danny and Megan and Jake, uh, keep an eye on my heading. One of the things we tend to do, we're looking at something like this that's floating. Mm -hmm. And as it spins around, the pilot will naturally keep that view. And all of a sudden, they'll have two or three wraps around the wire. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, we don't do that. And I've seen that happen with three or four people watching the heading. The compass is sitting there walking round and round. Okay, look at that beautiful picture on the Tritag Gemini. There it is. Will that be the basket. 30 meters. Good thing we stopped a winch. 36 meters, but I'm above it a bit. So. What does your beacon say? Just out of curiosity, the beacon depth? Uh, 2111. So the beacon says 2111. I'm looking at it at 2160. So there you go, 50 meters. Well, plus oh, the, the beacon's up higher on the wire. It's up 25 meters, yeah. Roger. OK, 25 meters. So yeah. plus or minus, that's your 1% of water depth right there. Yeah. And it 
it's always on the bad side. Okay, Danny, you can come down uh, five meters for me, please. Coming down five meters. Stop 2118. Retcha. So, one of the other uh, kind of mistakes you see operators make is um, they look up at something, and then the package, they slam the ROV into the seabed before the package because they're looking up and mm -hmm. you can't see very well. So any kind of lost visibility at that, that point, you're then blind. So it's good to be above it looking down because then when it does land and the visibility goes crazy, you still have it on your sonar and you can come up or come back, and run away as it were. Um, okay, we can talk about uh, position now. And do you have a target for this thing? Um, yeah, we're right above our proposed landing site right now, so we don't need to move the ship. Roger that. Um, I am approximately 7.5 meters away from the basket. Uh, above it, I'm happy to... Uh, and we're 30-some meters above the seabed. Mm -hmm. Let's come down easy on the winch. Or you can tell them a, a, uh, a set thing, like tell them to come down five meters, see what see what happens. Okay. Dan, when do you want them to put the transducer in the water? Uh -huh, they can do that any old time. Winch control. As long as they don't click it yet. <laughs> that would be no good. Uh, it's only 30 meters, it would land fine. Dropped them from higher than that. <laughs> Can we please come down five meters? That way, if they la di da and forget, yep. yeah, we'll do it Just baby a little steps. Bit at a time. Yeah. Once we get down to about 10 meters, I'll be able to see the seabed and the package and um, there it goes. tell them nice and slow, easy. <laughs> I didn't tell them the speed. Tom, come a little slower. Wind control.